So Yandartong, it started out as North Korea's high explosive testing facility, which is where they test and manufacture the explosive lenses that wrap around the core of a nuclear weapon, explode, and start the chain reaction. They haven't done those tests since the 1990s. It has since evolved into an assembly and storage area where they finalize putting the weapons together and store them. There are at least two underground facilities, and from what we can tell, they're, they're pretty big and they're well camouflaged. Um, they've mentioned it vaguely um, in negotiations. Um, they'll say, you know, we have X number of nuclear facilities, and then it's up to us to kind of deduce, well, which ones are they talking about? But there hasn't been any direct mention of it. Nuclear weapons are a secret everywhere, but North Korea is very tight-lipped about them. There's no real way to have these facilities completely innocuous that just blend in, you know, with, with everything else. But then you use other tactics to hide what's actually going on. And actually in 2020, they built a 35 meter wide building in front of the tunnel entrances to try and obscure, you know, the activity going on there. Some of the primary buildings where the explosive lenses are manufactured, those have soil on top of them, grass and things are growing on. It kind of blurs out the shape of the building, the size of them. That only goes so far in the winter, you know, when all of the foliage is gone, you can see everything really clearly. Um, access is completely cut off. Um, so. If to approach it, you have to leave the main road, go to a road that's dedicated to Yangdaotong. There is a guard facility there at the entrance. The entire place is surrounded by perimeter fence and watchtowers. There's even a military garrison there on the premises to secure it. And of course, the whole area is ringed with short-range anti-aircraft defenses, and there's also some surface-to-air missile batteries further out. And so, you know, for the average person, there's no reason to be in the area unless you're trying to get there. This is the nuclear facility, and if you're not meant to be here, you're not going to be here very long.